What's up guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to the unit. So we're currently in the final stages of what I wanted to do with the unit just before it's functional and just before I brought the car in. So if you watched the last video, you would have saw me making this work surface. And in my own time, I've put um, an extra shelf up there just so I've got a bit more storage. Also put, brought my voice in and also brought my grinding wheel. Um, I used to also used a bit of OSB to make a shelf just so I can keep stuff like my receipts and everything up there because we're legal now then boys. So the plan for today is, you probably heard me say I wanna make this into a studio 100 times, but I've been seeing backdrops and stuff like that, backdrop holders and rollers, and I'm like, ah, they're good, but I could probably do better and probably suit more needs. So this probably doesn't do much justice, but the ceiling's quite tall, not massively tall, but instead of getting a step ladder out every time I wanna um, change the backdrop, it'd be easier just to bring the backdrop from the ceiling down to the floor, just so it's a bit easier. So that's why I started looking at this product. So this is a bike lift. Yeah, um, you would normally use this in the garage, in your garage at your home or something like that. And then you put it under the ceiling, bolt it in, and then you use a rope on the wall, just so you can lift your bike up and so it's out of the way. And same thing as what I'm gonna be using this for. So I had four backdrops come in the other day. I've got chroma key, white, black, and cherry. And they're 2.72 meters long. <coughs> so to be holding this up against the ceiling, I've gone to Wix and I've got some, let me just see, it's like three meters-ish of black PVC. They also do the white one. I think the black one's a bit more expensive, but it's better, I think it looks better. Also gonna be using two hooks. So I've got this one here, and then this one will be going in against the wall just so I can feed the wire straight down. And then I've got this one, which could just go into the wall just so I've got something to tie the um, knot onto. The pack also comes with some uh, rope of itself. I'm not too sure how long that is, so I brought some on my own just in case. That's 30 meters there, so I'll have more than enough for something else. Uh, the pack comes with wall plugs. They are what your boy could not be holding onto, but for my circumstances, these are going to be going inside the PVC tube to hold the backdrops. I might modify, might modify these slightly so they bend up a bit more, and then I can drill a hole into the PVC tube just to stop it from ever slipping out. Um, but yeah, these work as like a dolly system, so the rope runs all the way through these via these, and just by pulling on the rope, you'll be able to bring the backdrop up um, as high as you want it or as low as you want it. And if that wasn't clear enough, I'll just give you an example. So, go into the box here, and grab the backdrop. Ooh, cherry. Two seconds. And there we have the backdrop. And the plan for this is to get the PVC tube and put that all the way through the inside of there. Because you can see that the tube's longer than the natural backdrop. And then use this backdrop possibly drill some holes into there so that these hooks can go through and then just mount the bike lift like it looks like in the photo but we'll have, be having to put it further apart because the backdrop's considerably larger than our bike and that's why we've got the extra rope. So yeah, it's probably gonna be a short video. Might not be interesting for anyone, but I thought I've never seen anything like this before so if it helps around anybody's shape before then you already know what to do. Alright, so the beam I'm going to be using for the backdrops is going to be this one, and the overall width of this part here is six, um, not six, 12 foot. So I'm just going to measure six foot across. Okay, and now I'm going to be measuring um, a meter and a half from the center line because that's half the distance of the backdrop I'm going to be using. Okay. And the same on the other side. So if I didn't make that clear enough, the wall from here to there, that's 12 foot. So I measured halfway, which is six foot. And then from the six foot mark, I measured a meter and a half and a meter and a half over that way, because that's the length of the PVC tubing. So with the marks that I made on the 1.5 meter, um, the 1.5 meter marks, I'm gonna be putting the mounts for the backdrops. Um, they don't need to be 100% accurate, it is just for aesthetic purposes really. Um, because as I'm using rope, the rope will give it a bit more play if it's on or off. But, um, but yeah, I think all I've got to do now is just chuck these up on the left and the right, and then run the wires through the hooks. 
Um, but I haven't showed you this bit yet. So this works as like um, a blind system. If you have it in your house, I don't know what the actual name for it is. But um, you literally just run the rope through there and then when the rope's in, you can pull this and then the rope will get caught so that the backdrop doesn't fall or drop, which is gonna be really ordeal. It's just like it says, we're getting the step ladders out every time I wanna change a backdrop. And if you work in the studio on your own, um, it's gonna be a bit of a bastard to try and move a 2.7 meter backdrop um, conveniently. But anyway, just gonna chuck these up now. It's gonna be a short one, but yeah, let's do it. And now this is where the fun part comes. So the actual running the wires through it, I've not seen any videos on how to do this. So it is just gonna be a massive guessing game, which I can already sense is gonna be Quite frustrating, but not to be a pessimist or anything, but I'm gonna give it a go anyway. I've heard that the best thing to do is to run this from the start all the way to the end one, and then when you come to the end one, just to keep it in place, you just do a massive nut and it shouldn't come out. So let's do this, or let's try and do this. Okay, so that's how the locking mechanism works. So if you just push it up, it just stays there. It's gonna come in handy that is. But anyway, just this is this side done. Just gonna feed enough wire through, which is currently on my tripod, sorry guys. And I'm gonna run that through to the other side. Okay, so to wire this up, there is a little circle in the first clamp. And you bring that around the outside and then bring it through the first hoop. Then once that's through the first loop, you grab your finger my bub, put that through. and then put that through the other thing we've got. That's just gonna weigh all that down. And then you run that through to the other side. And the great thing about this is to stop it from falling down. Just pull the latch up and then it should stay. There we go. And on to the final thing. There you go. I have no idea actually how to do this one. This one looks like it's going to be a tricky bucket. Oh shit. Okay, I think that's it. And like I said, just do a massive knot at the end or just tie it onto the one of the clips. And I think, I think that might actually be it. Let's give it a go. And here we have the backdrop system all on the roof now. Everything's bolted in, all of the wires are running through. I've currently got a backdrop held on there now with the piece of um, ply, ply, sorry, pipe. Um, I am having one problem and because I don't think this isn't like the weight of a bike I am having to balance the rope out as it's being pulled up but I'll give you a bit of a demonstration Okay, so that's it for now. Um, I also checked in the box and it comes with a little wall mount thing here. So you can just pour that on the wall and wrap the rope around, which I didn't actually know about. So I don't need this little hook here anymore. But yeah, if you're working on your own in a studio and you just want to be able to rely on yourself and no tools or another person, then I'd definitely recommend it. But if you're a boarder and you can fork out to buy the pop things, then I'd also recommend that as well. But uh, for me to do this, 20 pound, can't complain. Brings the fat drops down to the floor for me. Can't complain.
Okay, so that's it now. The rollers have been put on. I've rolled it down just to give you an idea of what it can look like. Um, my masking tape won't stick to the floor because I need to mop it because it's um, a bit grim since I've been doing all the cutting and everything. But other than that, you can't actually complain. And like I said, £20 for a backdrop holder, which would normally cost you maybe double or triple that. So it's a good starter anyway until you can actually invest in something a bit more professional. But yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If I helped you out in any way, shape or form, please feel free to like, share and subscribe. And I will catch you in the next one.